Hello and welcome. This is Eric from the Baltimore SharePoint Users Group. Uh, today we're going to get started with a series of tutorials on just getting to know Moss, uh, some step-by-step -step walkthroughs on some of the features and functionality in the new Microsoft Office SharePoint Server 2007. Uh, today we're going to start it off with how to set up a standalone server application uh, just kind of on a small server just to get to know uh, some of the features and things like that. First thing we want to do is uh, go over some of the prereqs that are going to be required to set up your environment. Um, the first of which is going to be um, some hardware. First thing we have to take in consideration is uh, our processor speed and our RAM. Um, take note of the minimums. You're probably going to want to live by those minimums at least for um, your development environment or your uh, poking around environment. Uh, you're really not going to need some of the higher end um, hardware performance uh, to get what you want out of this. Some of the pro uh, software prereqs um, are as follows. Um, Windows Server 2003, uh, uh, .NET 2.0 and 3.0. 3.0 is uh, Windows Workflow Foundation, uh, at least now as of when this was recorded. Um, in some of the uh, features of uh, Windows Server, we wanted to enable ASP, uh, enable IAS, uh, web service extensions, SMTP if you want to send email. Uh, we want to turn off the Internet Explorer enhanced security configuration. Uh, lastly, uh, and I have asterisk here, uh, Active Directory. For your standalone application, uh, you don't necessarily need Active Directory. You can uh, run some of the service accounts off of uh, your local machine, um, kind of what you have logged in for your local machine is what you'll have for your username uh, and password on uh, your environment. Otherwise, if you want to have a, a more centralized environment so that other people can actually come into it, you might need access to Active Directory uh, across the network uh, to have other people allowed to be uh, logged in. Uh, next thing we want to take into consideration is uh, just some some thinking points about uh, what you're actually about to do here. Uh, simple server installations are, are pretty much perfect for small development environments, uh, exploration on some of the uh, features that come with Moss. Uh, it does not come with SQL Server. Uh, you don't actually have to have a SQL Server license to install this. Uh, it installs a version of uh, SQL Express. Uh, doesn't require much of the resources uh, if it's not a production environment. Uh, basically what we went over uh, earlier with the uh, hardware prereqs. So first thing we're going to do is uh, kick over here to our, in, uh, our environment. And we want to make sure that our prereqs are installed. We have uh, .NET 2.0, .NET 3.0, um, Service Pack 2. And we're going to jump into uh, the Add Remove Windows Components. Just going to jump into Application Server and make sure IIS is uh, checked off. Uh, ASP as well. And inside IIS, we want to make sure that SMTP is selected as well. Okay for that, and we want to jump down to uh, Internet Service Enhanced Security Configuration and uncheck that. Uh, that'll save you a lot of headaches in uh, some firewall blocks and things like that. I'm going to actually uh, cancel out of this uh, and not go through the install just for sake of time, uh, but you're going to actually want to go through that. Okay, so first thing we want to do is uh, jump over here to our source files and set up. Go ahead and run the uh, exe. And this is a very simple installation. It's, it's really only going to take you about uh, 5 to 15 minutes, uh, depending on your hardware prereqs. Um, so it's not going to be you know that intensive of a setup. It's basically like installing any other uh, Windows-based application. And I just so happen to have my key here. Uh, you're going to forgive me for blurring it out, because obviously we need to keep that. From this point, you're just going to want to agree and hit continue. Now these are only menu options that you're going to be um, presented with. Basic is going to just go right into installing the simple server uh, standalone edition. Uh, if you click advanced this is actually the other location of where you can start uh, maybe setting up a farm. Um, you can actually set up a small farm on a single server in where you have a SQL Server um, as well as uh, the web front end uh, that's going to control uh, the external hits coming into Moss. Uh, but for now, we're actually going to just choose basic. Uh, keep in mind, though, 
once you set up a single server installation, you cannot spread that out to a farm. So you're pretty much locked down to this configuration. Obviously, there's some exporting features that you can take the content out uh, and get moving, um, but that's basically, you're, you're kind of locked into that at this point. And I'm going to go ahead and let this install. This is going to take about five minutes or so. And once this is done installing, I'll jump back on and we'll go through the uh, rest of the walkthrough. Okay, we're back. Uh, the installation's finished, and now we're being uh, presented with the option to run the SharePoint Products Technologies Configuration Wizard. We're going to leave that checked and go ahead and hit close, and that's going to kick off uh, the wizard. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cycle through the steps. Uh, go ahead and hit next. And this is just telling us that uh, these services uh, may be started or reset uh, during this configuration, which is fine. We can go ahead and go with that. Okay, this uh, task is probably going to take about uh, another five to ten minutes based on uh, how powerful your hardware is. So as soon as that's done, we'll jump back in and continue from there. Okay, so the configuration wizard's complete. We can go ahead and hit finish. And folks, that's literally about it. Uh, the next thing we're going to see now is uh, our first uh, site collection that's been automatically created. That is a standalone version of Microsoft Office SharePoint Server 2007. It's going to bring up our first site. And there we have it. There's our site. In the next tutorial, we're going to go over how to set up a, uh, a subsite and how to bind an InfoPath form to that site. Thank you for watching, and again, if you want to check out more tutorials, www.baltimoresug.org.